Hello friends, and welcome to your second day of your fluency passage. Remember you will need your handout 5B in your workbook. So today you will practice again doing day one and day two. So you've already done day one. And in day one, you were supposed to read the passage three to five times. So you will do that again today. But today, you will make sure your goal is to read with appropriate phrasing and pausing. When you read with appropriate phrasing, it means you don't just read one word at a time, but you read a phrase or a group of words together. For example, in the first row, it says, ah, now I see. Do you see how I didn't say, ah, now I see. I made sure to make sure I wrote, I said, now I see I have a phrase or a group of words together. It makes it sound more smooth. You also wanna have appropriate pausing. And you do that by looking for punctuation marks. So in the very first part for reader one, it says, ah, and then I see this little mark down at the bottom by the word ah, and it's a comma. A comma tells the reader to pause. Ah, now I see. Also, if I see an end mark, like a punctuation mark or a question mark or a exclamation mark, then I also need to pause like this. Ah, now I see the something is, and then I keep going, but I want to make sure that I pause. I just stop for just a minute, not even a minute, just a second. So today that is your goal. You're going to read the passage three to five times. Remember to have a listener that can initial your fluency homework. If you do not have your workbook yet, please make sure to try to get that. I know some of your teachers have been messaging you about making sure you have the correct workbook. So please make sure to try to get that from your homeschool. Then after you've practiced, well, while you are practicing three to five times, you're gonna remember appropriate phrasing and pausing by looking at those punctuation marks. Okay, I'm gonna read it with you. One time we will echo read, and then you can go with your listener or your learning partner to work on reading it three to five times for practice. Here we go. Seven Blind Mice by Ed Young. Ah, now I see the something is, remember, Echo, I read, you read. As sturdy as a pillar, supple as a snake, wide as a cliff, sharp as a spear, breezy as a fan, stringy as a rope, but all together, the something is an elephant. Great job, guys. You have echo read with me one time. Remember, three to five times for practice. And remember to read with appropriate phrasing and pausing today. Keep up the good work.